Hello, my name is Kelly. And I'm Mari, and this is Fem in STEM. Alright, this is our video of 14 things under 4 minutes. This is what we look forward to in 2014 in both Fem and in STEM. So first category for our STEM part is tech accessories trending. And we have portable phone accessories such as like camera lenses for your smartphone or TV antennas. And wearable technologies such as Fitbit and Pebble phone watches. Okay, for upcoming products such as phones or gadgets, will smart TVs actually become a thing? And when will Google Glasses come out for public use? <laughs> okay, so our change in lifestyle trends or integration of technology in our lives that we'll be seeing in the upcoming year. I'm thinking of Touch ID security with just your fingerprint. And where it's interesting to see as technology gets cheaper and more accessible, how that will change people's lives. So our predictions and in innovation of companies and design. Um, for mine, it's incorporating graphic design into products, such as how Windows 8 did with their new home screen. And I'm interested in how trends in medicines improve as technology improves. So, what's the next big science thing? I'm thinking space with the <laughs> popping up of all these private space companies with all their shuttles. And I'm interested in how 3D printing will supposedly change the world. Mm -hmm. I think it really will, mm -hmm. but... We'll yeah. see. Okay, the next science company, website, blog, slash vlog channel they're interested in <laughs> for mine is Blue Origin. They're not exactly a new company, but they're starting to pop up more on the radar. And I'm interested in what David Pierogi will do next. He is the new host of Nova Science Now and just uh, stopped doing his blog for the New York Times and moved to Yahoo. So our next big science joke product is a headset that gives you sassy comments for you. And we're both on the sassy train. I want a more sassy theory. <laughs> so, for our fan part, the movies that we're looking forward to, I'm looking forward to The Fault in Our Stars. And I just jumped into the Wes Anderson boat, so I'm interested in the Grand Budapest Hotel. For book, I have Stand Alone. Um, I have Panic by Lauren Oliver. And Harris is by Sarah Shepard. And for series, I have Little Hitty Little Liars, also by Sarah Shepard. The last book of the series is coming out this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also waiting for the last book of the entire series, Retribution of Mara Dyer. Yep, it was supposed to come out December 13th, but now it's coming out June 14th. I'm dead. <laughs> That's a cruel, cruel thing to do to you. Yes. For fashion, I'm interested in how it's becoming easier and easier to look polished and like effortlessly like fab and casual. And the two trends I'm looking forward to are T-length skirts and button-ups. TV show, Teen Wolf comes back on January 6th. And I'm interested to see where the season will pick up in the mid-season premiere for Blacklist. They left it on the weirdest foot ever, so I'd like to see where it will go. <laughs> for makeup product, as always, looking at the seasonal colors for nail polish. And I'm interested in how the brand Fresh, which is really known for its lip balms, comes out with new products. Favorite person doing new projects showing up in new places. For me, it's Marissa Meyer, seeing what she's going to do next as a CEO, and also it's very interesting how she showed up in Vogue in the September issue. And I'm interested where Daily Grace's Grace Hellbag will show up next. She just finished a movie, and there's a possible TV show something going on there. <laughs> okay, new company, slash website, slash blog, slash blog channel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> where mine's is Lush, which just came to our town. And I'm interested in Pemberley Digital, the creators of the Lizzie Bennett Diaries, and Emma approved have next up their sleeves. Bonus! Starting a STEM Cyber Cafe. Watch a STEM video each month. This month's video is the Nova special, What Will the Future Be Like? Submit us questions on that topic and interesting comments as well. And maybe we'll share them in a video that we'll put together at the end of the month. And the Feminine STEM community will be able to comment on that month's topic. Yeah! Bye! Bye.